this is Eleanor from the Carnegie Library in Ayr and this is Bookbug. He bows. <laughs> We're here today for songs and rhymes and other stuff. I hope you enjoy it. Just follow along. Uh, if you don't know the ones we sing you can catch up quite quickly. We tend to do them two or three times each and just have fun. That's what it's all about. So we're going to start off with a hello song. So we're going to go tap our knees as we do it and we'll show you the actions when we remember but just try and follow the actions. Hello everyone, hello everyone, glad that you could come. Aye, 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 glad that you could come. And our favourite thing always to start with, we're now going to do cross cross. Book buggles sit like this. So always make sure that whoever's sitting on your knee is nice and secure, especially with the little babies. And here we put book bug ready to start. Oh, he's, he's, he's eager. Cross, cross, line, line, spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze, tight squeeze. Now you've got the shiveries. We'll do it again, book bug. Yes. Here we go. Cross, cross, line, line. Spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Now you've got the shiveries. One more time, book bug. Yes. Cross, cross, line, line. Spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Now you've got the shiveries. One more time, book bug. Yes, I will. Just one more time. Okay. Cross, cross, line, line. Spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Now you've got the shiveries. Yes, book bug. We're on to the next thing now. So we haven't done this one before, so hopefully it's quite easy and we won't forget it and we'll teach it to you. So it's here comes a little mouse creeping, creeping through the house over hill and over dale. Tickle, tickle with his tail. I think we did all right there, book bug, didn't we? Yep, we try it again. It's always good. Here comes a little mouse, creeping, creeping through the house, over hill and over dale. Tickle, tickle with his tail. <laughs> yes. One more time, book bug. Always three times is a good number of times, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> right. Here comes a little mouse, creeping, creeping through the house. Over hill and over dale. Tickle, tickle with his tail. Yes, we are now. Well, one more time, book bug. Yes, we can. So, here comes a little mouse. Creeping, creeping through the house. Over hill and over dale. Tickle, tickle with his tail. There you go, Big Bug. You always like a good tickle, don't you? So we're going to do another mouse one now. So we're going to move on. So we're going to go hickory dickory duck. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory duck. Tick tock, tick tock. Hickory dickory duck. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two. The mouse went woo. Hickory dickory duck. Tick tock. Tick tock. Hickory dickory duck. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck three. The mouse went wee. Hickory dickory duck. Tick tock. Tick tock. Hickory dickory duck. The mouse ran up the clock. 
the clock struck four. The mouse said, no more. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock. I think we should do that one more time at least, shouldn't we, book bug? Right, so go. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock, tick. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck two, the mouse went woo! Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck three, the mouse went wee! Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck four, the mouse said no more. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock. Yes, book bug, I think we've done enough mousey things for today. You want to do a bit of bouncing, do you? Yes. So book bug, sit. <laughs> oh dear, he's solidly on my knee, held on to, and I'm going to bounce my knee rather than bounce him. That's the way to do it. Or both knees even. You get a, a well-fed baby. Right, so you go. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing on my knee. Bouncing, bouncing. One, two, three! Away up in the sky. Right, we'll do that again, will we, book bug? Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing on my knee. Bouncing, bouncing. One, two, three. <laughs> yes, book bug. Do you like that? One more time, bouncing. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing on my knee. Bouncing, bouncing. One, two, three! So, Big Bug, you know what? We can do that with other things as well. So, we can do waving, waving, waving on my knee. Waving, waving. One, two, three! Away up in the sky again. What else can we do? Ah, you know, you bigger children there, you can do jumping. We'll just do a bouncing again, but we'll sing jumping. And anyone that's got room to do it and is big enough can go jumping. OK. Jumping, jumping, jumping all around. Jumping, jumping. One, two, up in the air. There we go. That was good. Yes, but bug. <sighs> yes, I think we'll go on to the, the same thing. Why are you feeling so tired? I think we're uh, having lots of fun here, but it's quite hard work. Phew. And we're going to do, we're going to do another <laughs> up in the air one now, just because we can. I'm going to do up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forward like a choo-choo train. You got that? If you haven't done it before, it's not much to it. Up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forward like a choo-choo train. You can do it more quickly as well. You got them solidly there? Yep. Oh, and you can, if there's a bigger children, you can stand up and stretch up yourself. Right, book bug ready? Up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forward. Forward like a choo-choo train, up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forward like a choo-choo train, up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forward like a choo-choo train. Is that too fast? Do it really slowly. Up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forward like a choo-choo train. Was that slow enough? Up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forward like a 
two, two, three. Right, better do it quickly just to make sure everyone's still awake. Up like the rocket, down like the rain, back and forward like a choo choo train. Up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forward like a choo choo train. I think that's enough of that one. Bookbug, I'm in charge. That's enough of that one. We are now going to do Bananas Unite, which is one of our favourite ones. We like bananas as well. Have I got a banana to eat? Mm, right. Come on, Bookbug, you sit there. I'll do the actions. Uh, bananas Unite. Oh dear, where's my brain today? Still in here, just about. Right. Yeah, Bananas Unite. Bananas Split. Go bananas, go bananas, go bananas, go bananas. Bananas to the left. Bananas to the right. Peel your banana and take a bite. Ah, I like bananas so much. Try that again, book bug. Right. And probably we should go the other way when we go left and right because you're facing us, but... We're easily confused. It doesn't really matter which way you go when you go left or right, as long as you have fun. It does matter, really, because we get even more confused. Right, okay, so we're going to do Bananas Unite. Bananas Split. Go Bananas, go Bananas, go Bananas, go Bananas. Are you dancing? Go Bananas, go Bananas, go Bananas, Bananas, go Bananas. Bananas to the left. Bananas to the right. Peel your banana and take a bite. Mmm. Oh, I'm quite. Oh. I call, call this food thought. Oh, had my lunch ages ago, it feels like. Book bug, will we move on? Will we have this bag? Got a bag down here that's got stuff in it. What's in here? Oh. 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 What's this? thing that is. It's more food. It's a pear. Oh pears are so good. I've got a pear tree in my garden just waiting for them to be uh, ripe. Yum 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 yum. So put, this is Pooch over here. He, he hangs about a bit. I usually remember to introduce him. Here's the pear. What else have we got in here? Oh this is a strange looking thing. What's that? You ever seen one of these? May have eaten some, but not seen. He's quite small. He's usually quite a large fruit, isn't he? He's a pineapple. Here we go. We have a pineapple as well. What else is in here? Oh, what's this? I, I think this is my snack for later. Trying to be good and eat lots of fruit. Oh, that'll be good. I'll put that over there as well. And there's one more thing in the bag. As more food. Oh, we're getting so hungry now. What's that? It's a carrot. Yes, book bug. We have a carrot. Lots of food. So, I wonder what that means, apart from that we're really hungry and we can't think of anything except food. We can think about fun, at least for now. What we've got now here is a book. Oh, and I wonder what all that food was all about. This book is called Dozy Bear and the Secret of Food. Don't you want to know the secret of food? It's written by Katie Blackburn and it's illustrated by Richard Smythe and it's published by Faber and Faber who are very nice and let us read their books online like this. Very nice to us, aren't they, book bug? So, going to read this book. You paying attention? Everybody? Bits of fruit? Pooch? Right, let's do Let's get settled and comfortable. Find the first page. Right. Go. Quick bug. Yeah, you comfy? Right. Here we go. Let me see the book so that you can see it. The bears were finishing their lunch. Oh, quick bug, what's this way? The bears were finishing their lunch down by the river. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Papa Bear licked his chops and rubbed his tummy with delight. <coughs> ah. There you go, you can see him in the picture. But little Dozy Bear wasn't happy. Mama, I only want fish, he said. 
shaking his head and waggling his paws and pushing the food away. Oh, Dozy, do try something else, said Mama Bear. But Dozy would not. And now all the other bears were fast asleep, snoring loudly, and Dozy's tummy was grumbling. Dozy Bear was hungry. This is no good, he thought. I'll find my own treats. And off he trotted into the woods. And that's how his adventure began. It was cool under the trees, snuffle, snuffle. Hedgehog was rolling something across the ground. Look, Dozy, she said. I found an apple. Come and taste it. Dozy wasn't sure about apples, but he was hungry. He sniffed it. He licked it. He took a very small bite. Bah, he cried. And another boo. And another ah. And another ooh. It wasn't fish, but mmm, tasty. Snoozing in a tree, Owl opened one eye, then the other. Woohoo, Owl called. Are you hungry? Hi, have some blueberries. Dozy was up that tree, quick as a flash, his nose twitching. He stretched out a paw. He loved blueberries, didn't he? Oh, they're very round, Owl, Dozy said. Yes, Dozy, but it doesn't matter what they look like, said Owl. They are scrumptious. Dozy sniffed a blueberry. He licked it, he popped it in his mouth, and as he munched, he began to sing a funny little song. One bite, bah! Two bites, boo! Three bites, ah! Four bites, ooh! Five bites, mmm! Six bites, yum! Tastes delicious! Fills my tum! Dozy shook, shook some blueberries onto the ground. Come on, hedgehog, the more you eat, the better they taste. Be brave like a lion. Try some, said Dozy. They're scrumptious. Hedgehog sniffed the blueberries. Then she licked them. Then she popped one into her mouth and started singing Dozy's song. One bite, bah, she pulled her funny face. Two bites, boo, another funny face. Three bites, ah, four bites, ooh, five bites, mmm, six bites, yum, tastes delicious, fills my tongue. Ba, boo, ah, ooh, hey you two, come and have a carrot, called Rabbit, as he finished off his lunch in the shade. I'm not sure, Rabbit, Dozy said, they're so long. And orange, added the hedgehog. Oh, you silly billy, squeaked Rabbit, carrots are sensational. You must try them. Just give them a good crunch like a crocodile. So that's what they did. One bite, bah. Two bites, boo. Three bites, ah. Four bites, ooh. Five bites, mmm. Six bites, yum. Tastes delicious, fills my tongue. Crunch like a crocodile. Moose looked on from the water's edge, slurping quietly. Dozy, hedgehog, try these fresh green shoots, said Moose. Roll them round and round your mouth like a hippo in a swamp. I wonder, thought Dozy. He dipped a paw into the cool water and pulled out a bunch of shoots. Remember, said Moose, round and round your mouth, mouth like a hippo. One bite, bah. Two bites, boo. Three bites, ah. Four bites, ooh. Join in, hedgehog, Dozy called. Five bites, mmm, six bites, yum. Tastes delicious, fills my tummy, tum, tum, sang, he sang Hedgehog. And now Dozy realised the most amazing thing of all. After six little tastes, it was all delicious. Dozy had discovered the secret of food. Food tastes good in different ways. It's how you eat it that matters, not what it looks like. And the more you eat, the better it tastes. Sniff it, lick it, take lots of little bites like Dozy. Be brave like a lion, pull a funny face like a hedgehog, crunch it like a crocodile, roll it like a hippo. How do you eat your food? Dozy sat in the shallows feeling full and happy when splosh, a fish jumped out of the water and into his lap. A fish, his favourite food of all, but do you know, 
Josie let that little fish bounce back into the water. He wasn't hungry anymore. Clever little bear. There we go, we enjoyed that, didn't we, Bookbug? Oh, all that food. Oh, so hungry. Oh, what are we going to do now, Bookbug? Oh, what are we going to do? Oh, we're going to sing some more songs about food. What? <laughs> right, we're going to do it. This, this works better if there's more of you, but I'll try and do it with Bookbug and go, one potato, two potato, three potato. <laughs> no, it doesn't work with, with Bookbug, does it? No. One potato, two potato. Three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. Lots of potatoes. Can we try that one more time, book bug? It's much more fun if you've got, got friends and, or brothers and sisters or mums or dads or whoever to do it with. You go one potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. That last bit was just for fun. I think we'll move on, won't we? That was a bit difficult to do with just the two of us and Bookbug's paws being so small. Okay, so we're going to do another counting one again. I'll do it in my fingers. So we try this, try fingers work. Here we go. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so... Oh, <laughs> which finger did it bite? This little finger on the right. I got a bit of a head, head of myself with the finger there, didn't I? So we'll try that again, see if I can do it better. Okay, <laughs> well, we start with the thumb. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on the right. Oh, I enjoyed that one. But we will move on. What we're going to do now, we've had so much fun that we're going to do if you're happy and you know it. Do you know this one? If you're not, if you don't rather, you will soon. So you go, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Right, now we're going to do other things. So if you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you surely want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it. Oh, running out of breath. Wiggle your fingers. We'll go for the energetic one now. If you're happy and you know it, bounce up and down. If you're happy and you know it, bounce up and down. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, bounce up and down. I will try doing that again. You big, bigger ones can stand up and bounce up and down. As long as you've got lots of room to do it in. Don't go knocking any anything over important or bumping into things. Okay. If you're happy and you know it, bounce up and down. If you're happy and you know it, bounce up and down. If you're happy and you know it, and you surely want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, bounce up and down. Try the next one. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, and you surely want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Clap our hands just to finish this one while we put bug yes. Try that again. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you surely want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Oh, that was hard work, book bug. So we do something a wee bit slower. Bookbug's going to make himself comfortable. There he is. 
we're going to do this one just a wee bit quieter just a wee bit so are you all ready pat your head rub your tummy tickle your toes and hug your honey oh hugs are lovely i think hugs are better than tickles is that allowed to say that come on boot dog will you do that again pat your head rub your tummy tickle your toes and hug your honey there we go what that one again boot dog she always likes hugs pat your head rub your tummy tickle your toes and hug your honey oh oh that's nice boot dog isn't it oh well will we do cross cross now just to finish up Okay, but bug, you can be hugged when I'm doing it if you like, though it's hard for me doing things backwards. Right, we do cross, cross, line, line, spiders crawling up your spine, cool breeze, tight squeeze, now you've got the shiveries. Do that again, cross, cross. Line, line, spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze, tight squeeze. Now you've got the shiveries. One more time, boot bug. Cross, <laughs> cross. I've forgotten what I'm doing. Line, line, spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Now we've got the shivers. There you go, book bug. Oh, we've so had so much fun. Just one more thing to do. We're going to sing the goodbye song. Come on, you two. Lovely. It's been lovely to see you, and we'll hope to see you again soon. Okay, book bug. Bye bye, babies. Bye bye babies, bye bye babies, have a lovely day. Bye bye children, bye bye children, bye bye children, have a lovely day. Bye bye mommies, bye bye mommies, bye bye mommies, have a lovely day. Bye bye daddies. Bye bye daddies, bye bye daddies, have a lovely day. Bye bye grands and grandpas and brothers and sisters and uncles and aunts and everybody else and all the vegetables and butch. We've had a really good time haven't we boot bug? We've enjoyed it. We need to go away before my voice disappears and possibly have something to eat after all that food we've uh, been uh, singing about and reading about and all sorts of things but it's been very good we hope to see you again soon in the library too because we're open we've been open for a wee while but bugs not coming in yet but hopefully before too long and we will see you soon bye